Welcome to Analyze This for Power BI. This video is part of a series that helps us to make sense of the myriad of options in Microsoft's Business Intelligence platform. In this video, we discuss Power BI Report Server, an option for hosting Power BI reports on-premises. Now, if you haven't watched the Power BI Reports Types video, I suggest you do that first so this video will make more sense. Okay, so the Power BI report server is an interesting option for two main scenarios. One, if you want to use Power BI technology and reports, but you don't want to go to the cloud, you can use Power BI report server on premises by itself. Number two, if you plan to use Power BI in a hybrid environment where some of the reports are hosted in the cloud, but you need to keep sensitive or regulated reports on premises. And this hybrid scenario is doubly interesting because it also provides an option to lower our cost. But what is Power BI Report Server, really? Well, it's actually just a special edition of SQL Server reporting services. Yes, the same reporting services that we've been using for years for our tabular reports. The main difference is that along with hosting traditional tabular reports, Power BI Report Server can also host Power BI reports, those PBIX files. And that means our report creators can publish their PBIX files directly to Power BI Report Server. Now, when I talk about this product, there are often several questions that surface. First, are the on-premises reports the same as those used in the Power BI service? Well, mostly. They use the same format and share most of the same features, but not everything. And that's not surprising, really. Power BI reports in the cloud have access to special features only available in the cloud, like AI capabilities that can automatically analyze data and create narratives inside of a report. Now you can take an on-premises Power BI report and publish it to the cloud and it will work fine. But publishing reports that you created for the cloud back to on-premises doesn't always work. And it depends on which features were used in the report. And building reports for on-premises requires a different edition of Power BI Desktop. So your report creators will likely have to work in two different apps in order to deploy to both uh, environments. Now the other question is, can I use Power BI Report Server instead of SQL Server reporting services? And the answer is absolutely. Power BI Report Server can be used instead of SQL Server as it has the same technology and connections. The major difference is that Power BI Report Server uses a modern lifecycle policy. And that means it is updated every quarter and you must apply the updates to receive support. Now that may impact your IT processes, especially for organizations that need to test and validate server updates before they're applied. Now the last question is, how do I license Power BI Report Server? And I'm glad you asked, because now I can talk about the potential cost savings. There are really two options. First, we can use SQL Server Enterprise Edition core licenses just like we do for reporting services. The only requirement is that the licenses have to be covered with software assurance. The second option is that we can use a premium P capacity subscription. And this one is very interesting. Premium P subscriptions provide dual use rights that allow you to use the cores you purchase for premium P to also cover a Power BI report server deployment. For example, if I've purchased 32 virtual cores for Premium P for a cloud deployment, then I can also use those same 32 virtual cores to cover an on-prem deployment, true dual-use rights. And that would be a great scenario in a hybrid environment to control cost. Okay, hopefully that gives you a high-level understanding of Power BI Report Server, the requirements, and how it can fit into your environment. Now the video series can be viewed in any order, but if you need a recommendation, I suggest you watch the Power BI data management video next. <laughs>